Hi everybody, it's Crystal from Bag Day Crochet. Thank you for joining me today. I come from you. I come to you from my other house, um, and I want to show you some yarn that I purchased and maybe ask you a few questions about it. Uh, so, um, first off, if, if you're new, thank you for joining me. If if you are not, thank you for staying with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And please, if you are if you do crochet or you are wanting to learn to crochet, check out my hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials on my channel. I have everything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. So let's begin, shall we? Give this video a like too, if you can. It really helps me out. All right, so I uh, bought some yarn at Michael's. They had um, a, a couple of new yarns that I have never had before. And I was interested in getting it. Um, actually, yeah, I think a couple new and then a couple old favorites. It's please stay to the end because I have something very special that I would like to show you at the end. It's a surprise. First off, I don't have the tutorial for the sweater is store bought nor this hat, which is also <laughs> uh, I purchased on the internet. Okay, so let's kind of start. So uh, Michaels, Michaels online because my Michaels is very far away from me and I don't make it there. So I always buy online. So. I don't know if you've ever heard of Michael's Craft Smart yarn. Um, it is their uh, their yarn, um, one of their yarns, I think. Um, and it used to be rather scratchy, but I noticed maybe maybe started noticing last year, maybe the year before, that it had gotten a lot better for a value yarn. It's actually a really nice yarn for it being what it is. It's it's a four weight, one hundred percent acrylic yarn you know just to value regular four weight yarn but it actually feels really nice the newer versions do so why don't we go ahead and read about it they have some new colors and i wanted to show you because they're super ultra bright and they're blinding me as we speak <laughs> see the light there beaming that's that's the yarn no i'm just kidding okay so this is the craft smart value neon yarns um there are, let's read about it. It's 100% acrylic and it is a medium weight number four. It's machine washable and dryable. Um, pattern included. Awesome. Awesome. The color I have here is called neon yellow, as you can imagine. It is, it is a lot brighter than what it's showing up on camera. It is a very neon color. And I would have to say, I am not a big fan of neon yellow. It's not one of my favorite colors. I mean, it's not ugly, but I love all colors. But it's just, not, if I had to choose some that were my least, this one and one more I'll show you would probably be near the bottom. I love yellow. There's some colors of yellow I absolutely love that are my favorites, but neon's just the bottom of all the yellows. <laughs> My favorite but that's okay because I know a lot of people like neon colors because they are pretty cool uh, they're pretty cool so uh, 252 yards 5 ounces or 231 31 meters 252 yards and these are 349 a piece Michaels now always has it if you go online if you use the code you'll be able to see it it's on their website 20 made by you you'll be able to get 20 percent off of that so i got 20 percent off everything that i purchased here so it didn't cost me 349 but it is 349 on a regular uh regular and i don't think that's a bad price really it's hard to find a good neon yarn um and this is you know very scarfable if you're new scarfable is my term for soft you know i could wear it against my skin you know like this sweater i have a shirt underneath it I would, could make a sweater out of this and not have to wear a shirt underneath it because it's soft enough for that. You know, it, you know it's going to smell clean. I'm not going to smell it right now um, due to, uh, uh, you know, things going on. But Michael's yarn is always a very nice, clean smelling yarn. So I'm not going to, if it was a troublesome company, I, I would tell you. But I've never had trouble with Michael's yarns being nasty or anything. They always come clean. So that's the neon yellow. It's very, very bright. Not my favorite. But... They had uh, three other colors in neon. I'll go ahead and show you those real quick. Um, I'll try not to make this video too long, but you know I'm, I really do love talking yarn with you guys a lot. A lot. I really do. Now this one is another one of my least favorite colors. It's neon orange. 
Um, so this is their neon orange. It is so bright. Um, and it feels very nice though. But I just wanted to get the four neons just to see how bright they were. Because like I said, sometimes it's hard to find a good neon. That is very nice, uh, bright uh, neon orange. Not my favorite of the four. Um, these two are probably my least favorites. But that doesn't mean anything. A lot of people like them. And these would be good for like people that hunt, hunters and stuff. That's bright neon orange. Okay, and then I had a neon purple, which I think is very pretty. Um, look at that. I guess you would consider it a neon. It's just more of a really pretty, pretty, it's bright purple. I like it a lot. I really like this color a lot. I think it's very, very pretty. Um, to me, it's not extremely neon looking, but it is very bright. And I, I do enjoy the color. And then they had one more, which is a neon pink, and it's my favorite. It's very pretty. It's very neon, and it's very, very soft. If you've had problems with Craft Smart in the past, I do recommend maybe you try them out nowadays um, because they have gotten a lot better, and they are a good value for your money. They are made in Turkey. Very, very nice. Very soft. And that is a very bright, pretty neon pink. I love this one the best. It's very, very pretty. I like neon pink, though. I do have a lot of yarn at home. Uh, or at my other, at, at our other house where I keep yarn and stuff. Um, and I have a lot of uh, neon, neon pinks. Just, of all the neons, that's the one I gravitate towards the most. So those are the four. They didn't have green, which kind of surprised me. But that's okay. So now we're going to move on. That was the craft smart. Like I said, I do recommend it if you haven't tried it in a long time to give it a go again. I, I think to be pleasantly surprised. Now this isn't nothing new. But um, these are the Caron Chunky Cakes. I have not had, I, I can't say that. I do have these. <laughs> I, I just have not, I don't have this color. I think I have like one. And I wanted to get some more because I do want to make something out of it. What do you think I should make out of it? I have enough to make something big. Um, but I love the rainbow very much. If you know me, um, anything at all about me, you know that I really, really love the rainbow. Um, it, and it's, uh, this is a very, very beautiful yarn. The, uh, Caron Chunky Cakes, they normally run $9.99, um, on a regular. Usually you can get them on sale almost like all the time. So, um, definitely no, I did not pay that for that, pay that for these. But the Chunky Cakes are, are nice. I have, um, items made from them on my YouTube channel. I just don't think I have anything in this color. But anyways, the um, Chunky Cake, this one's called Rainbow Jellies. Even the name is Adorbs. That is a beautiful yarn. Very, it's nice and striped. I like the striping effect. I love the colors in this one. It's very bright. It's very pretty. Machine washable and dryable. You know, it's a bulky number six. So it's a six weight yarn. It's a nice six weight yarn. And it's, it's scarfable. It's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty yarn. I love it. But I've used it. Um, and I've had tutorials out of it many times, just not this color. And I wanted to make something bigger out of this color. So let me know in the comments what you think that I should make with this. I have, um, there's 297 yards of a 100% acrylic. And like I said, I have, I got enough to make anything I could want to make out of it. So, uh, if you, you know, if it's something bigger that you, that comes to your mind, please feel free to leave any, um, um, suggestions in the comments. I would uh, welcome them. Whatever you think, you though, you'd like to see it made out of that. I can think of a lot of things actually. Mm, that's a pretty yarn. That's a pretty yarn. I love that one. Okay, and then okay, this one I've had before, and then I'm going to show you two new ones, and then one more thing at the end, and I'm just excited to show you. So this um, I have had before, but not this color. And I have a tutorial of something I made out of it. Now this is called Loops and Threads. This is Loops and Threads. It's Michael's house brand. Braid Big. It's a very, very beautiful, beautiful yarn. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? And look at that blanket that they got on the front of it. You know what? I can't remember off the top. I have a big scoot super scarf I made out of a brown one, I think, on my channel. I'll post a link to it in my community tab and you guys can check it out. Maybe you guys would want to make it. It's a very pretty yarn. 
Um, but anyways, again, in the comments, what do you think this would look great as? I mean, you could see how the stripes play out in it um, just by looking at that knitted blanket there. And I have, let's see, let's read about it. It is a super bulky six um, and it is a chain spun yarn and it has a, a bit of a metallic uh, look to it. And when you look at it, it looks a bit metallic, which is very, very pretty. This is, uh, although brown is my favorite color, and I have a tutorial of a, bit of a brown scarf made out of this yarn of the brown, this one is my absolute favorite color that they make. I have not made anything out of it. It's a super bulky six, machine washable and dryable, 86 acrylic and 14 polyester. It's very soft and very scarfable. Uh, made in Turkey. So what do you think? Oh, these run $9.99 as well. Oh, I didn't pay that. Oh, I got 20% off of that. So, you know, uh, and they have styles all the time. So again, what do you think of this would look good as? The, the uh, loops and thread um, braid big. Um, 200, what, what do I got? What did I say? Oh, the color is called teal. Um, 262 yards of a bulky six. I got enough of it to make anything that you could probably suggest that, you know, big or small, I, I would take uh, suggestions for whatever you think would look good out of that yarn. I'm open to, you know, I'm asking for your guys' ideas on tutorials that you would like to see, trying to focus a little bit more on tutorials this year. Um, other things as well, like yarn, learning about yarn and stuff as, as well, but I want to get a little bit of sense of what you guys like, so that's why I'm asking in the comments, you know, would you guys like to see me out of that? It's a very, very yarn, I do. And remember, that's just going to have that very beautiful striping effect. It's not one I would ever color control because the striping effect is a slight fade, as you can see there. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. Now they had two. I, I don't know how new these are, but they're new to me. I've never had them. So um, this is the Charisma Heather yarn. Now I've had Charisma, of course, a million times. It's made by Loops and Threads, uh, which again is a Michaels brand. Um, this is called Red Heather that is so pretty. I absolutely love a nice dark blood red color, I guess, so to speak. It's it's really beautiful. Um, my camera's showing it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very, very pretty yarn. Um, so let's read about the uh, Loops and Threads Heather yarn. This one is called Red Heather. That's just the name of it. It's machine washable, dryable, and it is a bulky five, 100% acrylic. Bulky five is my favorite. That's a nice thick bulky five there. I like it. I like the thick bulky fives. It's nice. It's a plied yarn with two threads or two, two plies. It's scarfable. It's nice. I like it a lot. 93 yards again i do have enough to make anything that you know if you thought of something big look at the heather look in that red that is <laughs> that is beautiful it, it's just you see that that's a, that's a very very pretty yarn i get so excited over yarns i don't know why i'm weirdo but i love i love yarns so much especially ones i've never seen um, the, I've, like I said, I've seen Charisma a gazillion times. I know what it looks like and feels like, but I've never seen the Heathered, nor this color of Red Heathered. It's so, so pretty. I love a good red. That is beautiful. Any, um, opinions on anything that you think that you would like to see made in this? Please, you can always leave me a comment below. I'll go over the comments and read over them, but it's very pretty. I got, I got, again, I have enough to make anything, um there and then they had another new or, well it's new to me like i said charisma tweed hues i've never seen them before it was the first time i had ever seen it I'm not saying that it's like new new but it's new to me and it's very very pretty look at that one these are very it's like reddish and pink colors that's very pretty isn't it so it's 109 yards this charisma is 3.5 ounces 
of a bulky five. So it's pretty much the same as that, except it has a, it has a little bit more yardage. And it is heathered tweeds, which means it's got the heathered look. It's going to have flecks of yarn in it, which it does. I love that. And it, it is striped as well, as you can see that. This is a very pretty yarn too. I really like that. Check out the striping effect in that scarf there on her that she's wearing. Very nice striping effect. Mm-hmm. I would not color control this one, I don't think, either, though it doesn't look like the stripes would be long enough to do that, but I think whatever I made would be beautiful. Again, um, maybe uh, you could, uh, if you had any suggestions for this beautiful, beautiful yarn that's made in Turkey, um, something smaller because I did not buy as many as this one, of this one as I did of the red. So, you know, what do you think something like smaller would look good? I have three balls, which is enough, of course, to make hats, of scarf sets, cows, bags, you know, hats, uh, or, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I can't make, like, full-blown blankets with it because I only have three balls. But I'm open to suggestions, something that you would like, that you guys would like to see or enjoy making and following along a tutorial with me. That's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Pretty, pretty stuff. Okay, so that's all the new yarn that I got from Michaels. Now, I just want to show you one last thing. Um, so, let me shut my um, thing. So, um, I want to show you a yarn. Now, I'm not going to tell you. Some of you might will know already, especially if you follow me. You already know. You already know if you follow me. I'm just going to show it to you. I'm not going to tell you where it came from. All I'm going to tell you is you're going to be seeing it soon. And I want you to tell me in the comments if you think that it's pretty. And if it's, and if you think that it is, um, something that you would be interested in and something, um, um, that you would purchase if you knew that, um, the proceeds went to a charity, um, <laughs> I know a lot of you probably know, but anyways, it's, it's getting close, you know? <laughs> Um, so look at this yarn and tell me this isn't beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and pop the label off because I don't want you to see that yet. But I know that some of you already have because I've asked suggestions on that. You can't tell me that that is not a beautiful, beautiful cake of ombre yarn. Now that is a four weight, 100% acrylic ombre with flex in it. got a center pool and every cake is going to be exactly the same so you don't have to color control ever because when you end you pull from the center here and when you end on the dark your next cake is going to start right here the exact same color they're always going to be the same they're never going to be different this scarf will pull it's beautiful it's a very pretty color purple isn't it now you can remember you can't buy this yet it's not for sale, but it will be soon. And whenever it is, I'm going to give you all the deets, okay? But for now, you just let me know what you think about it, okay? That's all I want to know, really. Do you like it? You can be honest with me. I mean, of course, there's other colors. This is just, a, this is just one. And there's some that don't even have flex in it. I'm just curious um, if you think that is a, is a pretty, pretty ombre. Do you like the fact that every cake is the same? That you never have to color control? It's always going to end where you want it to end. Start where you want it to start. And do you like the fact that there's a center pool? And I'm wearing nasty yarn barf. Do you like it that the proceeds, a part of the proceeds go to a charity organization? Do you like all those factors in it? But most of all, do you think the yarn is pretty? Remember, they, not all of them are going to have flex, and there's all there's a bunch of different colors. This is just one that I'm showing you, a very beautiful purple with flex in it. That's a pretty flecking ombre, isn't it? I'll see you guys later, okay? I'll be looking for you to talk, you guys' comments in the comment section on everything we talked about. Let me know what you like to see me make with these yarns, you know, tutorial-wise, what you like to make. Let me know what you think about that. That ombre, okay? I love you all. Thanks for talking y'all with me today. I'll see you on my next video, okay?
Bye, guys. Stay safe, okay?